Best Action Movies 2022 Number 10. Top Gun Maverick Starring the great Tom Cruise, Top Gun Maverick will finally take off for theaters, keeping its promise to show lots of speed. As the first few minutes of footage borne out at CinemaCon 2021, this sequel to the iconic 1986 film will show us the legendary pilot Pete Maverick Mitchell as captain and new flight instructor in a context with new technologies. The $152 million budget left us a great visual spectacle thanks to the IMAX film format. It's known that Netflix and Apple TV Plus tried to buy the distribution rights to the film, but Paramount Pictures refused to sell them. The expectation for this movie is rising after new images were displayed in the run-up to the grand finale of the Super Bowl, one of the biggest sporting events of the year. If they connect up the speed and action that the movie and American football have in common, will it result in a touchdown? What do you think, Tom? Life is more fun when it comes with a little action. Number 9. Uncharted Is this the movie that was supposed to be released in 2016, had six changes in the direction, and went through a pandemic? Exactly. Uncharted is Sony Pictures' new proposal that we can finally enjoy in February 2022. It's based on the popular PlayStation video game franchise. Plus, the great Nathan Drake, played by Tom Holland, and Victor Sully Sullivan, played by Mark Wahlberg, will make their appearance on the big screen. Its designations generated controversy among fans. However, Uncharted not only intends to fill up the seats with its loyal fans, but also with those who are passionate about action. The budget was estimated at $120 million, and the film aims to offer a cinematic spectacle with a young Drake embarking on an exciting treasure hunt. Are we facing the beginning of one of the great film adventurers like Indiana Jones, Jack Colton, or Benjamin Gates? What's your opinion? Number 8. Thor – Love and Thunder The Marvel Cinematic Universe's fourth movie of The God of Thunder is around the corner. Yes! This sequel, directed by Taika Waititi again, will show us a new face of the Asgardian superhero where he'll have to deal with Gore, a new villain played by Oscar winner Christian Bale. Yes, the same actor who once embodied Batman in the DC franchise. The film will also mark the stellar return of Natalie Portman to the MCU as Jane Foster, who will become the superheroine Mighty Thor, getting the same powers as the ex-fat Thor. Are you also dying to see her in action wielding Mjolnir? It's gonna be mind-blowing! As we can see, Love and Thunder generates high expectations due to its extraordinary cast and great director as a guarantee. Will it be crazy off the wall, as Chris Hemsworth said? Let's confirm it. Number 7. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 If the first movie in 2020 was an overall success, plus it was named the best video game-based movie of all time, and cut Marvel's hegemony as the highest-grossing superhero movie of the year? How can you not make a second movie? That's right, everyone's most beloved Blue Hedgehog is back for an out-of-this-world adventure in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. In this sequel, Sonic is eager to prove he has what it takes to be a true hero, and his greatest test will be to avoid Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey again, who, upon his return, seeks to get an emerald that is able to destroy civilizations. New characters like Knuckles and Tails will be there to raise up the action, and the filmmakers behind The Fast and the Furious and Deadpool are expected to hit it big once again. It's a must-see. Number 6. Morbius The line between hero and villain will be broken in Morbius. Starring Oscar winner Jared Leto, Another attractive, troublesome character from Sony Pictures' Marvel Universe comes to the big screen in a delightful mix of action and drama. Here, Dr. Michael Morbius, suffering from an uncommon blood disease, is determined to save others suffering from the same condition by making a desperate bet. Although it'll seem that he achieves radical success, 
darkness will soon be unleashed deep inside. He's been ranked by IGN as Spider-Man's 19th greatest villain. But there's no certainty if Morbius will be present only in the Sony universe or it could also appear in the MCU now that we've learned about the multiverse in Spider-Man No Way Home. Would you like him to follow in the footsteps of Venom? Number 5. Operation Fortune – Ruse de Guerre Guy Ritchie and Jason Statham working together again? Oh yeah! The director and the actor join forces for the fifth time in a film. And their last experience in Wrath of Man in 2021, whose audience approval was 86% according to Rotten Tomatoes, ensures a great proposal. In this movie, we'll see super spy Orson Fortune and his team of agents recruiting Hollywood's biggest movie star, Danny Francesco. He'll help them on an undercover mission to stop billionaire arms dealer Greg Simmons from selling a new weapons technology that threatens to disrupt the world order. This is going to be an action crime movie with Richie's trademark comical style that you can't miss out on. Let me worry about that. Number 4. Black Panther – Wakanda Forever How will they fill the void left by T'Challa? The new Black Panther will be male or female? The popular MCU film left us these and many other questions. After the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman in 2020, Marvel Studios decided that this second installment will be a tribute to the actor and that no one will take his character. That's how the plot of Wakanda Forever keeps improving to this day. It was certain that the successor to the throne and the one who would take the Black Panther mantle was going to be Shuri, played by Letitia Wright. However, the actress suffered serious injuries during an action scene, so she was hospitalized and had to stop recording. Then she was involved in a scandal over her anti-vaccine position, causing her to be separated from the project. Was she the one to relieve T'Challa? Many believe so. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, M'Baku will be the one who takes a greater role. Will there be a new dispute in the Wakandan Kingdom? That would be telling. Number 3. Bullet Train Are you ready for a movie with extreme speed and lots of action? Bullet Train promises you big time. It was directed by David Leach, who was previously on Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. The film is based on a popular Japanese novel by Kotaro Isaka. The story revolves around five assassins who get on the same Japanese bullet train and soon realize that their missions are interlinked. Starring the great Brad Pitt, sensational Sandra Bullock, and a great cast, it's expected to show many complex and explosive showdown scenes, along with a satisfying experience of speed and tension as the train accelerates towards its final stop. All this is sustained after the projection of the first footage at CinemaCon 2021, where attendees could see the popular reggaeton singer Bad Bunny, who makes his first appearances on the big screen with Brad Pitt in an intense duel. I can't wait to see it. Number 2. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. You're right, Steven. That's why it's great that this second installment of the Sorcerer Supreme continues with the events that occurred in Spider-Man No Way Home, where Doctor Strange casts a spell on Tom Holland's Peter Parker and causes very serious consequences. So it's expected that this Sam Raimi-directed sequel explores those repercussions with the help of both old and new mystical allies. That's how Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness will bring back Scarlet Witch, Wong, Baron Mordo, Christine Palmer, and the official debut in the MCU of America Chavez, played by Sochi Gomez. According to the official synopsis, the amazing yet dangerous alternate realities of the multiverse will lead them to a confrontation with a new mysterious adversary. And who would it be? It's presumed from the trailer that it could be the dark variant of Steven, known as Supreme Doctor Strange, who we already know from the animated series What If. Or perhaps Wanda herself. 
It's also speculated that in this wild adventure there could be a cameo of characters from past sagas, such as the X-Men or perhaps a new version of the Fantastic Four. Wow. We still know little about the multiverse, but it seems that several things will be possible, even breaking the box office again with a terrific production. Before I show you the number one, I'll make some honorable mentions so you can also consider enjoying them. Space action in Moonfall, a heist that goes wrong in Ambulance, a prince out for revenge in The Northman, Miles Morales joining forces with Gwen Stacy and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. And finally, some proposals from the DC Universe coming soon, like Black Adam, The Flash, and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Now it's time. Let's continue with… Number 1. The Batman It's less and less to see Robert Pattinson as Batman in theaters. Mystery, action, brutality, and especially, revenge is what the Dark Knight will bring us in his new adaptation that will last… about three hours. Did you know that? In this way, the work of Matt Reeves will be positioned as the third longest superhero movie ever made in Hollywood. The Batman will show us a second-year Bruce Wayne as a vigilante in Gotham City who finds out acts of corruption that bind his own family while dealing with a serial killer known as Riddler. Catwoman, played by Zoe Kravitz, will also be one of the remarkable characters due to the close relationship she will establish with Battenson. Visually, the film is spectacular, and even the Batmobile will have great action scenes. You can start enjoying this new edition of Bats on March 4th in theaters and on April 19th on the streaming platform HBO Max. Set up a reminder. The year 2022 brings the best of the action genre. Do you have your favorite movies yet? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more great content. Until next time!